Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Ortega with Red Carpet Report. I am here at this fabulous fundraising event for the Fulfillment Fund. We're raising money for kids to go to college. There's some great food here and I'll be talking to some of your favorite celebrities. Meet you. I love when you smell it because it, it looks, you look like your mother. I mean, oh, I see, and I, I, yeah. I'm such a nerd because I'm like, I love your mom. Me too. Best yeah. I interviewed her at like the Lucky premiere. And oh, she's like, yeah. The best person. Yeah. But. I, I agree. I like her a lot <laughs> too. I you and you smiled. I'm like, oh my God, I totally see it. <laughs> oh, I love that. Congratulations on Star Trek. Thank what you. Amazing show to be a part of. Oh my gosh, it's just such an incredible yeah. gift that keeps on giving, really. Yeah. yeah. How is that to be part of that fandom now? Yeah. Which is like, oh my gosh, I mean, it's just so humbling and beautiful. And the fans are some of the, I mean, like, we, we say they're the best fans around. I mean, and it's so global. I mean, I was in Germany earlier this year for a convention and getting to really realize what an impact our story is making on people across the globe. And they're stories that everyone needs to hear. It's not just, you know, no, our it's, country. It, yeah, it, it is. And it's such an inclusive story and cast. I talked to Ricky Wilson before about it. And oh, yeah. I just love that it just incorporates so much. Yeah, yeah. It is so important. It really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And I'm very, very proud with the representation that we have, particularly on our show. It's oh, like yeah. they're really just pushing the boundaries more and more. It's very much of 2018 and beyond. Yes. Yeah. Thank God, because we need that kind yes. of thing. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. That. Yeah. And of course, we're here today, not only for the amazing food, but yeah. <laughs> for the fulfillment fun. Yes. So what made you want to come out and show your support? And Well, I mean, I, education to me is just, I mean, I, it's ultimately the most important thing. However it manifests, I think we all end up educating ourselves in different ways. But I think this is a fund that really, you know, gives opportunity to kids that deserve it. I think every child deserves opportunity to go to college, to be informed. And I, I was saying to my friend earlier, just like, it's not just taking history and science and math. It's learning about scholarships. It's learning about how to apply. Like so much of what keeps people from pursuing their dreams is they just don't know how to do it. And I think that like that's just going to be the key to giving people access and, and, and keeping it from being a, a, a privileged opportunity, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Because if you, you don't have that kind of environment, you don't know like the, the steps to take. Because it is yeah. kind of a daunting thing if you, yeah. you don't, you like what... How do I even pay for this? What scholarship? Yeah. So I think, yeah, having that information available yeah. is such a, an amazing thing to have for people. And yeah, yeah. I love it. I yeah, mean, me too. And I'm really grateful for all the, all the opportunities I had growing up. So I would only want to benefit other kids in that way. I love that. Like, I love when people give back. It's like, I think the yeah. best thing we could do. And Absolutely. And yeah. that's, yeah, that with having the Star Trek platform, that's, that's the dream is yeah. that like any opportunity I have to use my voice to push anything forward. I'm very grateful for it. Were you at Comic-Con? I was. was it? it was amazing. <laughs> I grew up going to Comic-Con since I was oh, seven. Oh my God. Yeah, so I was like very surreal. And you gotta be like a part, like a Yeah, tall. yeah, yeah. And our panel was in Hall H, like the renowned Hall H, yeah. you know, and uh, it was really great. And, and what I said on the panel, I, I did tell everyone, you know, that I had been going since I was seven, but what really was so moving was it was how I wanted to be there. It was a part of a show I believed in with an ensemble that I love and a leader like Sonequa who's carrying us with strong female roles and just like that was how I wanted to be there yeah. and so it was great to have it fulfilled in all all the ways. I agree like yeah but congratulations <laughs> on everything. You. Thank you. We look forward to like the next season. Of, yeah. When is too. it? When's the next season? We uh, early 2019. Okay. <laughs> we'll be ready. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> It's going to so be great. Much, Mary. Thank, Thank you. you. I love your outfit. I, Thank I'm you. Like, you're smart. I'm like, dying. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. But that's a, I like, that's usually. Yeah. I'm really bad at dressing for like hot weather. Like, um, I don't understand. I know. Yeah. It's always fun. Sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like the video, as always, give us a thumbs up and press the subscribe button below.